Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It is Wednesday. Legacy day. Legacy day. I've been very busy doing legacy things. Legacy things. Legacy things. Lots and lots of legacy things. I'm going to move up the overlay. Oh, no, let's no, not move me up. Let's move the overlay up. All right, let's move us over here. Sorry, guys, I was trying to. There we go, that's better. So, everybody, welcome to Eternal Frenemies, your weekly legacy fun, tabby dozy extravaganza experience. We're going to have a great time for you guys today. Um, but it's not just me. Uh, as you'll notice in that co this corner, in that corner, that corner, there you go, this corner, um, that we've got some special guests on today. So let me get our guests on. Firstly, I can't be frenemies without my frenemy. Hello, Fia! Fia's here! Everyone. We're playing one of my most hated archetypes, everyone. He is. I think I've actually thought to myself, I despise no archetype. Actually, that's a complete lie. I hate Burn. You, it's, it's I don't know why you do. I don't know why you do, but archetype. It's a very good archetype. It is. It's, uh, it's one of the staples of legacy. It's honestly one of the decks that everyone can talk about when they first think about it. And um, well, who best to teach us than? And we yes, who's best to teach us than Top Eight, Mister Bologna, having a great time. Saw him make Top Eight. Matt, say hello to the chat. <laughs> I love it. We're like super excited. Matt's just like, hello, I'm Matt. Um, Matt's trying to keep his cool with the uh, top eight. He doesn't want to be seen with us. That's what it is. Yeah, we're, we're schleps. We're basic <laughs> schleps <laughs> to Matt now. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not worthy. Um, so yes, guys, what are we playing? So today we're playing some sneak and show. We're sneaking and we're showing. We're doing some sneaking and we're doing some showing. Um, so this is not my list. This is Matt's top eight list. Um, we were just talking about it off stream, um, about what it can do, what it can't do. Um, all in all, I think it's great. Uh, I think it's got a lot of I leg. agree. It, of course, of course you're going to agree. I, I wonder if it's actually competitive though, let's be honest. What, compared to your... Like, I, I don't, I don't think someone could take this to like, you know, like a 1k and top 8 with it, let's be honest, guys. What? Don't <laughs> <laughs> Says the man, says the man who wants to play Doomsday, Jesus. Well, that's a vaguely legitimate deck, right? Okay, right. we're not going to get into my Doomsday habits. Yes, we're, we're, we're talking. Gonna, we're here talking we, about show and tell. We are talking about show and tell. We're sneaking. We're showing. Um, Matt, you've been playing this deck for a little while. Uh, yeah. Why did you decide that sneaking and/or showing was good for Bologna? Well, I was <laughs> so set on. I was so set on playing. Some kind of Ren and Six deck oh. for ages, probably Team Adelva. <laughs> and then, what was it like three weeks before, two weeks before? The week before. Ren and Six got the axe. Literal axe, everyone. Literal Can we get axe. F's in the chat? F's in the chat for Ren and Six, please. Oh. <laughs> so then I thought, well, I'm not going to play Rugged Over anymore. What are, what are my other options? <laughs> and then I looked at my side. would be stupid, right? <laughs> yeah, who would play Rugged Delva? <laughs> So I look right, okay, right. Who would play Rondelva? I, I saw my trusty Grizzle Brands and Emrakuls, and I thought, yeah, Sneak and Show is normally a good a good deck straight after the bannings, and it's only so bad Sneak and Show can be. Yeah. Maybe maybe you can take it to a GP and, and run hot. And that's what you did. You can't the... no put it down to run hotting. Run run hotting is okay for saying you know. Winning, winning eight games out of ten, or doing well like that. But top oh, eighting, no, I think no, you're not giving yourself. I don't think you're giving yourself enough credit here. The ability to be an extra, you know, one thousand five hundred, you know, eighty eight fat eighty eight players to top eight is a wonderful achievement. Um, and I'm sure we will get you to reminisce about the uh, <laughs> different matchups you have. Uh, you know, and how I played. It went. I played a lot of different matchups. Well, wonderful, varied. You can tell us the lines. You can show us the in and outs of each of these. Matchups, just in case our viewers decide to pick up this deck, the poor souls, and uh, play it themselves. Deck. That is sorry. This deck is an absolute treat. It, well, uh, we'll let everyone looking, else decide. <laughs> if you're looking for a deck to pick up in paper, if you, if you somehow have the money for some some nice dual lands, 
This deck is never going to be banned. That is, it here. That's true. That is true. It is. Um, I, and I've I've heard this joke before, and you you can correct me because it is probably a little bit rude. But the reason why Reanimator never really does that well at GPS, for example, is because all the good players find it really boring. Yeah, I can see that. I played and, Reanimator uh, for a while, and yeah, I found and, it incredibly boring. Yeah, and I can I can I can totally see why some people who perhaps don't play it long enough to see the lines, all the lines, would probably say the same for Show and Tell. It is, however, one of the staples of the of the of the of the format. We cannot Absolutely. dispute that at all. No, it basically before I decided to play Delver, so a little bit of bit of facts for you folks. Before I decided to play Delver, um, I was pretty close to playing Show and Tell. Uh, I had spoken to Callum Smith, HA White Faces on um, on Twitch and on Twitter. And sort of said, Callum, I want to build, I want to play something that, you know, it challenges me. And he said, well, that's, you know, great. Play Delva. And then I was like, well, Red and Six got banned. He's like, well, play Show and Tell. It's like A plus B. And I'm like, eh, don't know if I want to play Show and Tell. Um, <laughs> but now I, lo I, I really like this deck. And this is kind of, this is kind of the, this is very Atchu magic. I like Atchu magic. Um... You know, it's got it's got a game plan. It wants to put a Brosal brand in, and also I, you know, it's it's funny when it works, but when it, you know, so and people don't expect it. If you if you're playing against a deck that doesn't have permission, you're like, well, bleh. Here is my Grizzle brand, or in my case, which we'll discuss during leagues, why I had two Grizzle brands. My opponent played two Grizzle brands against me. Yeah, sadness. So yeah, me, that was a game rule violation, right there. That was. I was. Right, we'll, we'll that was come actually failure hmm. to maintain the board state for me, but um, but that's fine. So guys, we're gonna get into a league. So yes, as Sneak and Show will tell you. Oh, let me go back to it quickly. So as Sneak and Show presents, the aim of the game is these two cards: Show and Tell and Sneak Attack. Show and Tell basically says each player may may it's a may of course uh, put an artifact, creature, enchantment, or land from the hand onto the battlefield. And what you're trying to do is craft your hand with card selection um, to put it either in a Grizzle Brand, an Omniscience, into, or an Emrakul Aeon's 20. Don't get the cast trigger, but a 15-15 is pretty sweet. Um, and then if you can't do it with Show and Tell, you do a Sneak Attack and then go <laughs> and kill them. Um, and then sort of 19 lands, you accelerate it so you can do this on turn, Show and Tell on turn 1 or turn 2. Um, or you can just play it at a normal rate. Uh, sideboard map, I can sort of understand some of it. So, yeah. Fluster Storm, I imagine, is for other combo decks. It's for other combo decks and other counter spell decks. So, you want it against stuff like Delva. Yeah. Because you have to try and fight counter spell wars to expect your spells to resolve. Okay. Uh, Echo and Truth, I just managed just Pesky Permanence. Um, pesky Permanence and also uh, Merit Lage decks. Yeah. Same as Submerge. Are you not just out of curiosity? I feel like Submerge and Echoing Truth are almost a waste because you're quicker than those decks, right? Um, or is it still a bit so, of a drag race and that's just so enough? E the... Echoing Truth, I kind of wanted to have as just a as a catch all. Mm. Yeah, and that's true. It's, yeah, it's very the good. Submerge, the Submerge was the the 15th card. The night before in the hotel, while I was submitting my deck list, I had a Sorcerer <laughs> Spyglass instead, and I was like, I don't really like Sorcerer Spyglass. What can I play instead? So I was, I, I was with uh, staying in a room with Charles Elliot Hemby. He was sort of going through his box of random Delver cards he brought with him. He was like, what about this? What about this? And Submerge seemed like the least offensive option out of the lot. Yes. <laughs> so it's that in there. The case. It's in there. And I got someone real good with it. Oh, now I'm interested. I mean, we basically, when I was playing, when I was putting my sideboard together with Delver, this... So the amount of arguments I had with you about Submerge is quite hilarious. I, yeah, we'll we'll come to that during gameplay because that's one that we've still got to pick up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Blood Moon is for greedy mana bases. Pyroclasm yeah, is so, for D and T. So the the main thing I wanted going into this GP because there was a lot of with the Ren and Six ban, there was still a lot of Delver decks hanging around. Then there were like I was expecting a pickup of some decks like Lands. If people are picking up Delver more, people are going to pick up lands. And I, I felt like people just weren't really respecting Blood Moon, so I wanted to register at least two in my sideboard. I almost played the third, but I wanted to have you know, slots for other cards instead. The Blood Moons were, were very good over the weekend, and I would definitely mm. look to register them at least two again. 
if I was playing Legacy. And then Pyroclasm, I imagine, is just for creature decks. Um, yep, pretty much. Pretty much. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, and then Arcane Artisan. What is this card? And this, what is this? This you hide your emrakul? You make an emrakul? Is that what happens? So Arcane Artisan is it's been sort of been a controversial card since it came out. Mm -hmm. In that people were really high in it when it came out, and then people put it down for ages, and then now you see it every so often. I mm. quite like it just for for the matchups where show and tell's not good. Because when show and tell's not good, you kind of have to take out the show and tell's and the omnisciences. Mm. And you don't want to then just rely on sneak attack as a way to, to put in your Grizzlebrands and your Emeralds. Mm. So Arcane Artisan's good. So those matchups like Reanimator and, and the Mirror, mm. mostly. It just acts as the threat number five and six, mm. where... Like if if you just play sneak attack and your opponent has like a like a pithy needle or something for it, then bad times. Sadness. So Arcane Artists is sort of just there to come in when the show and tells come out. Hey, okay. All right. Well, that is there anything else in the deck? Can I talk about other than that? Let's just get into some leagues. And jab, Let's get into some and, leagues. And, jab, and, and do some jamming. Jamming. Mm. Jamming. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see if there's like a meta shift within Show and Tell to incorporate four dazes. Because I knew there was some yeah. you know, around. I never, I never thought it was four. I need to. Oh. Uh... Eric Landon has reclaimed his title of the most legacy trophies. <laughs> Let's uh, beat him again. We, we, will, we will beat him again. Um, who else do I know? Sorry, we do the, we, I do this every time. So Eric Landon, JPA is up there. Arkin's JPA, up... to be. Just just a shout out to JPA who puts in so much time and effort into the deck that I don't think the deck would be anywhere close to where it is now whoop, whoop. if he wasn't putting in his uh his time and Love effort. JPA. I spoke to him a bit before the GP and spoke to him a bit afterwards. I didn't see him. And yeah. He he really pushes the archetype forward, so props to him. Props to JPA. Yeah, props to JPA, yeah, yeah. especially with um being able to guide and mentor other players, I suppose, through it. That's always really important. And yeah. Always, always calmer there. I say this, Eric Landon was like playing against these people who built his Grixis himself a deck. It was hilarious. He was like, why am I losing to my own deck? Uh, right, let's gain some leagues. Let's jump into some jammings. Although, um, one deck we basically were very close to playing was the green-blue Omni Tail deck with Veil of Summer and green cards and Eureka! Uh, and Eureka, yeah. Uh, your Eka. I've, yeah. I've accidentally flavor. become known as the, the southwestern UK Eureka guy. The Eureka guy. Kind of, yeah. I mean, I you know, you accidentally date to a GP with what can only be described as the biggest meme in Legacy. It's Sorry, Legacy. one of the bigger memes in Legacy. It's not the biggest. I must admit, there are more. There are more. There's like kobolds and stuff. I really can't argue with that. And uh, suddenly, everyone thinks that all you can play is Rectors. I mean, they're not wrong, but <laughs> embrace embrace your specialism, honestly. I, I am, yeah. Finding my niche combo decks and championing them to the front. Uh, Maybe I'll even go positive at an event. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! We're playing Lewis CBR, really? We're just starting, and we start with Lewis. I All think right. your screen's a little bit frozen. I can't seem to see oh, it on my Discord. Oh no, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's me. Give me. Let me do that. Uh, Just want to make sure that me and Matt don't miss out on the action. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, fine. there we go. There you go. Well, we can't keep this hand. This hand is bad. Well, can we not? Matt? Hmm. Can I keep this? I know. Like, Wait, we are, we, are we on the play or on the draw? We're, We're on, on the play. play. Alright, that doesn't affect my decision. I'll probably keep. <laughs> yeah, we get to go to one pre day and we're setting ourselves up. We only need to find one solution in one other land, most likely. Yeah. I think it's okay. Right. I think this is fine. At worst, we have a force backup. We get to look True. at a reasonable number of cards. If we ever find a fetch, then the brainstorms are really good. We're we going for a basic island, or are we going for a volcanic island? I, I think you should always get a basic island first. What? Yeah, we don't we don't know if we're up against. Um, the the problem with getting a, a volcanic island is getting wastelanded in this deck is so bad for you. Oh, I I yeah I can really. I've imagine. been playing Delver. I've been playing Delver too long. Uh, I want I want the land and put the sneak attack on the bottom. I don't need anything right now. Yeah. So I think yeah. You know. Yeah, like a, your your instinct there would be to get go and get a Volk because you know you have this red card in your hand you want to cast at some point. But yeah, the the real the real downside is if you get wastelanded, especially with it being our only land. If you get wastelanded, uh, game's yeah, pretty much over. Uh, 
Preserve. And mono, maybe possibly mono no, blue delver. This is this is blue red. It's probably blue red well, delver. Well, I mean, I would understand, but even then, seeing the one of the two basics on their first turn is pretty rare, right? Yeah, it's not yeah, as... but not unlikely. It's also a gorgeous island. It's uh, uh, uh what island is? Um, don't play the land yet. We no. brainstorm first, do we? Or do we <laughs> play the land to play around days? Hmm. I think I would just brainstorm. Like, if they daze, it's not the worst for us. Yeah. No, it isn't. I, my gut's telling me to brainstorm. There we go, that's better. So, put back... What am I putting back? Jesus, this is all bad. I think I would put back... I would put back one of the brainstorms and then possibly just one of the lands. I mean, we don't really... We don't have a way to shuffle. No. So, at the moment, it's yeah. not too relevant. So... I would... Okay. I would... I would I think I'll be looking to cast a brainstorm at the end of their turn, just because we have to try and get through these cards at some point. Okay, we don't so... want to just oh, keep pecking away. So, am I yeah, going so... brainstorm then land? Brainstorm then Volk, I think. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to get them away from the target on their second Volk. turn. Okay. And then I would I would play the island and play the petal, because I think it's Storm counts somewhat two. obvious what we are now. Storm counts too. Yeah, I th well, I don't know. Like, a Misty is a bit of an interesting play. I, actually, I suppose we're not running Prismatic Vistas in this version, because we have three no. blocks. Oh, the, it didn't flip! Blue-Red Delver, I tell you. Ooh. With Pyromancer. We're okay with that. Yeah, I think we're okay with that. Like, we it's have we, we have to save we, our... We probably want to cast our Brainstorm now. Just yeah. the, There's no real reason not to, if they have, like, a Daze or a, a Force. Well, there's a Desert Blue Delta. For some reason. So... There is, but we don't want to see it. We, we wanted to see a threat more than anything. Um, so we probably want to put back the Volk at the bottom of the two, and then yeah. we can shuffle it away. And then put what else We want else to put back? back the Volk, and then... It doesn't matter, because we'll be drawing it. We're just gonna, yeah, we're just going to untap and draw it. Uh, Alright, well then I'll do... Probably the day. Brainstorm. Yeah, the Daze, okay, fine. We, we want to keep the Daze. I mean, I guess they've tapped their mana now, but... That's true. Alright. Well, they might go Lotus Petal Thought Season, then we're kind of going to be in a fun situation. What What deck is playing Young Pyromancer, Delver Secrets, Lotus Petal, and Thought Seas? Would it have gotten you? <sighs> yes, if, 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 you if they had it, they had it. Okay. Got, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Theo, Theo yeah, we're, 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 playing with, we're, we're playing with somebody who has top we're rated a GP. Yeah, I know. I know. We're on and so, we're someone on eight, who's 9 we're owned life. their day one. <laughs> we're, on nine, we're, we're on 18 life and they're on 20. We're losing. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, right, so we want to play the Delta. Yeah. Yeah. We've cracked the fetch, I think. Because if we draw anything off the Brainstorm, then we get to show until with yeah. hopefully Force of All and days up. I'm just thinking whether we want to just crack for a Volk and just put Sneak Attack on the table. Yeah, that's me. Because we have double counter spell back up. Off of the petal. I think so. Yeah. Okay. That's what. That's my. That's my gut. I love all the gut. So we're gonna okay. get a, a daze and a force of one. I think is what's gonna happen to us, which is fine. It's fine. Yeah. A double daze was. I'd yeah. rather use the petal than use the show and tell because I wanna have the um, blue card for the force. Yeah. Dazing. Wanna... We're dazing back, aren't we? Yeah, we days pick up the Volk. Days the days. Days. And yeah, pick up pick up the Volk is very important. Yeah. Because it protects it from wasteland. I did that a lot actually at the, at Bologna. I did protect my non basics. Uh, okay. What are you doing? Oh, there's a force of will. We'll see. There's a force. And well, we, we will... force pitch the show until. Oh, <laughs> sadness on this deck. This is this is what we set up for. Yeah, let's see if they've interactive got another day. Interactive magic, everybody! We're playing the yeah. interactive magic. Don't we love Who needs mana? Clean interactive No way. Oh, go That's away. Cool. Fine. That's okay. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Ugh. It yeah. does mean that we know that the one card in their hand is a, an island. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty rough. Attacking us for a the five cards were oh, days, not... force, force, blue card, blue card. Yeah. What were the oh, two blue cards that they played? Flooded Strand. They did play Flooded Strand. Oh, so we know the last card in the hand. Yeah. So what we do is... I guess they should play it because of the Delver. Oh, that's yeah, correct. Um, so we just... Yeah. We, are we going to lock ourselves? I think we have to. Yeah, we, we have to, right? Because we're under so much pressure. Yeah. It's going to be 
Okay. Well, live by the show, die by the show. Live by the show and die by the show. Right, we are. We cannot beat their board of power. We can't beat three counter spells on turn three. No, yeah, it's pretty rough. Like that if, if the sneak resolved, we okay. would be fine. So, what are we bringing against Delver? So, uh, all yeah. the blasts. Yeah, so you, I think you definitely want the blasts and the thunder storms. We don't care. We don't want pyroclasms. Why storms. not? Because me, what are we killing? Tell me, young pyromancer. Yeah. Sure. Delver okay, secrets. Mm. Sure. Do we care about that? Not really. I don't think. No, we don't. I think we, we just we, care about trying to get our thing on the table. Yeah, we care about our show and tell and our sneak attack. Because if our show, our show and tell is like infinitely more powerful than their young pyromancer most of the time. Capola, we are playing against CBR. I know we're playing against Lewis CBR, who is actually knows how to play Delva. Uh, better than me. Uh, playing against, yeah. I mean, I'm here. Who doesn't even know how to oh, play magic? Theo, stop it. Stop being so self prefacating. Uh, you draw eight cards, right? In terms of what we want to take out. Yeah. What are we taking I out? I think that the omniscience is a pretty unnecessary. I think if we put a Grizzlebrand or an Emrakul into play, we basically it's probably going to be good enough. Um, uh, I would, and we're on the uh, play, so we could shave a force of will. I mean, that sounds like what you'd do in a typical devil mirror, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I think force is just super important for the like the sport we were in. Do you shave? I definitely cut one. No, I, I don't no. like. I don't like ever cutting lands in this because right, you, you you're on a relatively low land count as it is, and you're trying to cast three and four mana spells. That's true. I think I would cut one preordain. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that means it's actually hard. Yeah, maybe another pre-order. Okay, oh, we're on four. Going okay, down to two. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. The best part about playing Legacy is completely winging it when you sideboard. <laughs> that is not true. That yes, it is, is not That's what true. I, do. I, I don't think I've ever written a map and everything. Yeah. Matt top eight, I'm gonna to listen to him. Matt the top eight, you're gonna to listen to me. We keep this hand. This hand's Ooh, fine. Yeah, this hand's good. Thank you, Reb Setneck, for the follow friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Reb Setneck. That's a good that's it. I can say it like that. Okay. Uh Plutet Delta pass. Yeah. See, I know how to play Legacy. Apparently. Someone told me I could play Legacy. Um I don't know who, who was that. I know, right? Who told me I could play Legacy? Was it Matt? Was it you? Matt did tell me I could play Legacy, that's true. Matt was very supportive of my day two, considering how well he was doing and how bad I was doing. <laughs> how did you, what was like, your record after day one, Matt? I was seven, seven and two. One. Seven and two, okay. What did you lose to, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I lost to <coughs> oh. Team of Show and Tell in round Ooh. three. Where, well, they were, they were basically blue-red Show and Tell, but they had green for Veil of Summer. Which yeah. is now a card I believe should not be legal in any format. What? <laughs> Get played out. Against it. Matt, Matt, I love no, you, Matt. Like, I care about I, you I, lots, I... but we have to establish that that is a very powerful magic card, and it's one of my favorite it magic cards. Yeah. It is, it, but it's... it counted my red blast, and that is not okay. <laughs> my opponent cast a brainstorm. I cast a red elemental blast on the brainstorm. They cast the veil of summer. They cast the veil of summer, which counted my red counter spell. And now I I'm hate sorry. that card. You can't be upset about your off-color counter spell being countered by an off-color counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> like it's kind of we're kind of going sickly, sickly <laughs> here, aren't we? Guys, just 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 accept Veil of Summer, and it will accept you. Oh no, I play Veil. Yeah. I play Veil of Summer all the time. I don't play Blue most of the time, so I love Veil of Summer. Uh, sure. Everyone has a go at me about it, but yeah. then my other loss in round eight was to Grixis Delver. If I recall well, I suppose, correctly, yeah. I think I, I think I drew kind of poorly. I think I had a game where I had three show and tells and never drew something to put in. That's oh, okay. Not um, ideal. Are we brainstorming, pondering? We're pondering, right? I think we are brainstorming. We are first, brainstorming, Because right. we kind of don't want all three of these brainstorms. So I, I would fetch, play the Flooded Strand, and then play Brainstorm. So we want to play around days, as marginal as it is. Days, days, days. There is a city of traitors. And There's also a grizzle brand. That one's, yeah. that one's pretty good. Okay, put about so the two brainstorms. Put back... Yeah, I would think I would just put back the two brainstorms. Because yeah. we sort of have everything yeah. we need then. We have a sneak attack next turn, uh, depending on what we draw. We'd have to draw uh, another force to think about it. Um, 
We could also draw a. Are we cracking this fetch? We, we want to crack this fetch in our upkeep, I believe. What? Because uh, I, I, I kind of want to get a Volk. Well, it depends what they play. If they play a Wasteland okay, and pass, then I think I would just untap with the Flooded Strand still in play, because we don't want to get Wastelanded, but we also Delver, cannot. Delver, 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 Delver. See, Delver sucks. Beaten. It's always a 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I mean, it was, you, it was a 1-1 one, one, a lot. play a body. bad... A bad number one goose. If I wanted to play fugitive wizard, excuse me, will you two? Will you two stop? If I wanted to play literally my, death, my stats as a magic creature, excuse me, will you leave Delver secrets alone, please? My pastry will, when chef. It leaves, when will it leaves come me at alone, you. I'll leave it alone. <laughs> my That's pastry chef will come at you. To be honest, this card was a bone of contention for me in round eight. So let's not. Let's not. So they didn't play Wasteland. Are we still doing this in our upkeep? Yeah. Yes. Because okay. we kind of don't want the brainstorms are up. They're not the worst thing if we have to draw them, but we kind of don't want them. We're getting a Volk? We're getting a Volk, yeah. Yeah, yeah we want to get a Volk. Right. Am I going to draw a Fossil Volk? We're going to draw a Shell. Oh, no? Okay. We draw a Shell um, It's probably better. So do we ponder first? And then... Why are we pondering? Like... Why can't I just play the thing? So if we ponder off the snow-covered island, we could play the show and tell with possibly more than just a force of our backup. I don't know if that's better than just having an extra mana open to play around a daze. Because if that hand is day, if that hand is just daze force of all, we can beat that by casting show and tell. It's true. Also, nice. if they if we go show and tell and they force it, and then we force and they force, whatever we can cast sneak attack next time. Guys. Yeah. Guys, you're being okay. This is where no, I know. We're thinking the lines through. I think we have a perfectly valid decision. It to is. Think, to think there. But I've also, but, but I also yes, am keen to do the, the thing. A play and show. Do, do the thing. Do the thing. Yeah, love it. We're going to get countered so bad. Oh, see, it's fine. And it's going to get surgical, and we're going to cry. Sometimes you just have to ask your opponent what they brought to school. Oh. What oh. They have sixed. This was unexpected. We're bringing a grizzle brand to play. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippos. Hungry, hungry hippos. I I got a a draw red. seven. Draw seven. Draw seven. Oh, this is gonna be powerful. Oh, I feel so powerful. We're gonna get bolted. Oh no. Uh, no, it's a pyroblast. That's pretty sweet. Okay, I can't keep all these cards uh, in my hand. Uh, we definitely don't draw another seven, right? Uh, <laughs> no, no, we just <laughs> no, we just get a discard. We now have four stays. Uh, oh, oh, there, there, oh, there we go. Everything's fine. Powerful magic. Powerful, Powerful magic. Yeah, magic. That, a mana creature that we paid three mana for. One of the Skill games, and show. Skill and show. Guys. Excuse me, I can't hear you with all that skill pouring <laughs> off us. Oh, Jesus, you guys are so bad. Okay, we send this back. We're sending it to the sea. Yeah, send it again. Send it again. Put it in the sea. I said this that. time draw a better fashion. Actually, hand. also, so I have a story about my second round against Sneak and Show. So we, I think I told Matt this. Uh, we can't. Can we keep this? I don't know if we can keep this. This hand is bad. Is it bad? I'm not, I'm no, not it's kind of bad. It's kind of mopey. In the sea. Get in the sea. I mean, that must not. Yeah, this one's reasonable. You have half of the combo. What am I putting back? That's, is that the way you look at it? It is uh, a, an island, I assume. Yeah. Keep. You have half the combo. Yeah, you get rid of an island. You have half the combo, you have some cantrips, you have the lands you need. Oh, Volk go! Okay. Interesting. Looking oh, at that interesting. Stifle right there. Although they're playing Arcanist, so I'm not sure they'd be playing Stifle. I don't know, I think some of us still do. Um, I, would just, I would just play the Ponder. Ponderare! Ponderare! Oh, okay. Uh, what have we got? Brainstorm, City of Traitors, Grizzle Round. Interesting. Shuffle? Uh, brainstorm wouldn't be worse, would it? I mean, City the is also... okay. The Sith, they're all okay. Yeah, none of them are stellar. My problem is, so they've also mulliganed, right? They're also they at six. They have mulligan two six. Yes. So I'm trying to think what the hand could be if they're going Volk Go. Young Peasy, it's gonna be it's gonna be like Young yeah, Peasy or something. Like... Mm. We're on the Young Peasy. I want to say shuffle. My gut's saying shuffle. My gut is saying Ew, shuffle. shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. I mean, why not have one when you can have two? 
Yeah. It's fine. At least swords won't hurt us that much. Um, so, let me... They, run, they could run Manamorphose. Sorry. Theo... Theo... What? Just... It's a valid point. We have to be we have to be wary of our opponent's outs. Told you, they're playing young PZ. Mm, she was not probably at mana next turn, which is quite annoying. She, oh my I, god, how much land do we need? No, play the we should probably play land first because we really can't afford to get beaten by days here. Alright, preordain. Preordain. Oh my god. No, no get rid of them. Bottom, bottom. Yeah. Eh. Uh, it's not the worst. It's not, not the worst. It's not the best. Uh, Simply Carl, we are very well. We are playing Sneak and the Shores. Um, no, let me finish my Sneak and... Let me see if my Sneak is so short. Story? Story. Brainstorm. Sure. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, I'm round two against Sneak and Show. Game one, they do their thing. Uh, game two, we... My opponent goes uh, Sneak Tech. I'm like, sure. Hand is Surgical Extraction Brainstorm. Uh, they go sneak attack. I'm like, sure, putting a grizzle round. I'm like, fantastic. Uh, Pony spends about three and a half minutes drawing 14, looking at all their cards. And I've I've spaced out a little bit by this point because it's taken a while. In hindsight, I should have called for slow play warning, but I didn't. Pony then puts... Uh, sure, enjoy yourself. Uh, you'll until that's the turn. Um, we basically do the thing, and he goes grizzle round. I'm like, fantastic, do the thing. Then puts lotus petal... Activates sneak attack again, puts another grizzle brand, and attacks me for 14. By this point, ladies and gentlemen, you're thinking, Sahar, that can't happen. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Uh, and you'd be correct. So a person next to me calls a judge and is like, Judge, this has happened. And we're like, Great. Are we cracking this fetch land? Or are we just going to draw a card? No, we're not. No, we're just going to draw. There's no we reason that, to. Well, we oh, know that the go, bottom cards of our library are both okay. island, both lands, and we don't want to draw them. Okay. So it is very minutely positive. Are we preordaining or fetching them preordaining? Pre uh, I think we're just preordaining. Like Theo said, we know the bottom two cards. Yeah. Are it's a very bad thing. Oh my god. Buster Storm's not bad, but we still don't want to draw it, do we? No, we want to just get rid of it and try and find our. our we need cards some. Jesus Christ. Oof. That's not one of them. That's not. No. Alright, place yeah, it. No, I suppose we still have time, they're only swinging for four a turn. I mean, yeah, we got a bit of time. We can cut this way, we probably cast hard cast four sword. So yes, it doesn't work the way you think it does. So we then get a judge. The judge winds back and I go to eleven. We both go to eleven, that's fine. Uh they are also not drawing well either, but they've got four power on the board. Um so five cards in hand, they could just be having force, 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 four. They, yes, they could also just have four sources. Um, Gotta play to their ass. Oh my god, really? You're joking. Um, am I just playing fetch land go? Yep. It's just, just. It's fine. If we draw a show and tell, we're in a very good shape. Yeah. Sorry, if we draw a show and tell, we're in an okay shape. We're in a better we shape. We want to draw Brainstorm. Brainstorm would be right now, loot. Right now, right now, I'll draw any cantrip. Any cantrip will do right now. Brainstorm would be. I mean, Lewis is recognised. Lewis has recognised we have nothing, so they don't. There's no point in them committing to the board when they've got something already, which I learned very quickly from playing Delver. Yeah. Um, anyway, let me finish my story. I'm getting distracted. For, my God, you are joking. Uh, don't play a land. Don't play the land. Yes, in case we draw a brainstorm. Uh, sure. Then I'm just saying. What well, I'm playing Lotus Petal Go. Yeah, just say go. Just say go. Yeah. Why don't I play land? Because you, in case you got, in case you draw a brainstorm. But I've got two lands in hand. You're right, and you'll be able to get rid of both of them. Uh, fair enough. But I can hard cast the fossil world if I play a land. What are we going to hard cast fossil? I don't for? know. I'm just giving you the option. Yeah, I know. We we don't <laughs> actually care about hard casting fossil on anything that they cast unless they cast like a meddling mage or. I can't think of anything in blue that's vaguely, like, permanent-based good against us. Alright, well, guys, we don't have much time, because we are down to six, and they sure, run lightning yeah, bolts. Yeah. We just have not been drawing what we needed to draw, or something. That's, that's, you live by the show and die by the show. Yep. Guys. Can I quote you, can I quote you on that? Fine. Are we still now, I'm going to bolt and pass. 
Play the Vulcan Pass. I hope they uh, wait. We can play it. The Grizzle Brand. Oh no, we can't. Sorry, I just reckon. No, hold on. No, it's four black. So I got very yeah, excited. Yeah. No, you need all four petals. Oh. <laughs> Sadness. All right, play the Vulcan Pass. All right. Well, do we just die? Sometimes it doesn't come together. Sometimes it doesn't come together, and that happens. And yet, and yet people still bloody top eight with this shiza. This nonsense. Not, not that I've got anything against the deck. Shit deck. <laughs> Theo, be like nice it. to our guests. I am being nice to our guests. I'm just not being nice to his deck. I think that's what I'm trying to emphasize. Theo, when we started what? this, when we started this stream, what was the philosophy behind the stream? A safe Beat up space. On that? Sorry, right, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> safe philosophy. space for us to be entertaining and bring people into the legacy format. I think I can belittle Matt as much as I want. Oh, there we go. It really doesn't matter because of the fact that he's literally top eighted at legacy GP. <laughs> like, All right, can I brainstorm? I have, I'm I brainstorming. I am brainstorming. Yes, we are brainstorming. Yeah. And, then we're, and then we're doubly fetching. Interesting. I wouldn't double fetch personally. One fetch. I, I think that's just perspective. They're going to bolt us in response most likely. Yeah. Come on. If you're going to bolt us, bolt us, Lewis. Oh, oh, that's a shanta. Okay, what am I putting back? The land and the emerald. Nah, nah, one of the grizzle brands. You only need one. You need True. One. Okay. Well, this year's stuff merge. So, go slayer petal. Cast both petals. Yeah. Show and tell off of the petals, I think. And show and tell off the petals. Yeah. yeah. Sounds reasonable. Sounds reasonable. I like it. We're going to hold up a fetch if a fluster storm if we desperately need it. Storm count's going to be so high, it's going to be so sweet. Pirate Blast. Oh, Red Elemental Blast. Sure. Uh, we should force of will it, am I correct? Yes. It's kind of awkward that we can only force or fetch. But. Yeah. Well, in that case. Uh, actually. No, in that case, we should fluster storm it. Yeah, you should fetch and fluster. Yeah, fetch because and fluster? if we, okay. yeah. yeah, if they have a stifle, they have a stifle. Well. or days. Alright, let's see if they've got stifle. Because they can't days fluster, but they can days. Possible. Uh, what are they dazing? Or, Why are they dazing? They're dazing the show They're dazing the show and tell. Yeah, we really do. Not... What? I don't. What? Why would you daze? I don't understand. Because it means it's countered now without us having any magic up. Yeah, because we don't uh -huh. have the land yet. Oh, for God's sake. So we have to yeah, force a roll now. Place. No, we can't. We're on one life. We oh. can, but it doesn't Sorry. do well for us. Force, no. force of wallet. Force of wallet. No, we're not going to force of wallet. Oh, okay. So... Go out on your own terms. We are dead. <laughs> Concede to the, the one. Concede. Concede to the person who has. How many trophies did they have? Many. Many, 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 many trophies. Many, 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 How many trophies. trophies do we have? Uh, none. <laughs> none. No. Oh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's got more than I have. We're not here to make trophies. We're here to entertain the people. By making trophies, right? No! We're here to entertain. We don't play competitively to be in the case with the show and tell right now. I'm playing a team. We are here and... to sneak and show people the way of legacy. Yes, sneak Oy and you're sure. We're going to Oy sneak vey. and you're sure. Okay? Sneaking and showing. I can't keep this hand. Oh, I can keep this hand. Mm. No. No, I don't think you can. Well, sadness on the stack. Yes, and this is true, but that Sadly. is not my good hand. If this is one if this if this was a coloured land, I'd keep it. But it's it's more show and tell. Uh, oh, that's sneak. an interesting hand. Sneak! Is that really a sneak? Yeah. Interesting. I guess yeah. so. It does everything you want What's it to do. Worst that can am I putting this? Am I putting one of the Volks back? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're oh, on the draw. Also, we're on the draw. Everything's great. Polluted Delta. All right. Polluted Delta could be anything. If they thought sees us, this is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, if you thought no, sees us, we fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, this is um... another bloody Delver deck. No, it's oh. we're playing against Astrolabe. Oh, fine. We're playing against full-color Astrolabe. Or something Astrolabe. Island. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Island preordain? Yeah. There you go. See, that wasn't so hard. Uh, uh, guess I guess we draw the days. Yeah, you want the days, but put, not the land. Put bottom. 
I'm so good at magic. No, Matt is so good at magic. We're just here to. Oh uh, yeah, but all every single thing that I've said has been reaffirmed by Matt. That's what this is saying. This is saying that someone that also plays Mimi Eureka deck, you know, show and tell style decks like I do. Yeah, that's that's we have that kin, that kinship right there. <laughs> you can have whatever ship you want. Oof. <laughs> I wonder if they hit the land of the astrolabe. No, unlikely. Of course they hit the land off the astrolabe. A hundred percent. Of course they hit the land off the astrolabe. I was about to say they've got no land. And that's where they hit the land. Um, yeah, one's also good. Um, pond um, oh, do, uh, do we play a land? So they shouldn't they shouldn't be a daze deck, so I, yeah. I don't think I would I think we might be land. okay. If they if they are then Also if they daze is also fine for us. Okay. Because they're not dazing our important things. So Damn, that's a bit annoying. No. I think I would take. I would put the preordain on top, draw, and then fetch. Okay, so again, if they're an astrolabe deck. They shouldn't be a stifle deck. So I don't think. So we... put on top. Put oh, on yeah. top. Put on top. Draw this. Uh, no. Play the flooded strand. Are we just shuffling now? Or yeah, I think you want to cast the preordain now. So we want to just uh. shuffle. For, and then again, for get another, are we getting another basic because we've got bulk in hand? Uh, yeah, just get another basic. Uh, it's unlikely that they'll be playing Wasteland, right? It's unlikely, but I'm not going to uh, rule it out. Yeah. Uh, um, true. Yeah, these ones are bad. Bad, get in the sea. Get in the sea. Yeah, that's what I'm mm. that's, that's also about. Piece of candy. This is, this, is, this is things I can get behind. Is it going to win us the game, Matt? Yeah. Oh, okay. That was easy. Oh, they're playing Bat Miracles. Guys, we're playing... Oh, we're playing no, they could just be playing... No, we're they're playing against Bat Miracles. 100% we're playing against Bat Miracles. That's, that's not how it works. If that's the you case, can't... then we have the best card in the matchup against them, which is this Omniscience. Yeah. Uh, excuse okay, me? Now? Excuse yeah, I know, but me? you can't... You can, I, sorry, don't turn around and tell me that off two cards you can tell exactly what I, they're playing. I'm very good at this game. When they're two vaguely similar lands with Asher. No. That's not how it works. 100... I just... Why do you trust a woman's intuition? Chat, I, back me up. What on has this. woman's intuition got to do with your opponent playing miracles? Oh, that's actually a good card. <laughs> okay. Um, so, do we play the Lotus Battle? Or do we play the Volcanic Island? Or we both? can do both. But we, I, think we just, I think we brainstorm off of the island first, right? Mm. I don't right. know. I'm all about just playing this show and tell. Yeah, I am. So am I. But so. But we're show and telling and putting it on this and then not doing anything with it, right? Ah, we're casting a brainstorm. Okay, sure. You're right. I can't argue with that. Okay, True. so Lotus Petal first. Yeah. Then, then the Volk. Then the Volk. And then we're show and telling. Then, then the show and tell. Keeping this. And the Lotus Petal we're keeping up for days. Yeah. Mm. No, uh, they won't be playing days. Just, I'm, whatever. What, spell you, said they, you said they were on Bad Miracles. <laughs> oh, shut up. Shut we've up. done it so we've upped the storm count, so that their fluster storm will kill us. Yeah, that sounds right. We have to lose to our opponent's fluster storm. I wonder if they will cast the spell called Forcible. Oh, they will? Oh, wow. Pitching a Jace. This looks like it could be Arnie's list, which is just four color snow. Four oh, color, good yeah. stuff, snow. Um, it doesn't sound like miracles. <laughs> are we da we can't. Well, dazing doesn't do We're anything. We're not dazing it. No, no, no. It's just it, resolves. Let's let it go. We have a sneak attack that we can cast as well. Like they have two things. That, we have two things they've got to be able to deal with. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to run your thing into the counter spell. Yeah, it becomes a bit of a war of attrition. I did a lot of attrition. I did a lot. I, I did actually. You talk about attrition. Try playing against Christian Col Culps in round freaking ten of day two, where I get squished by all the value at Bologna. So I'm sorry. I was playing right to fit. Yeah. Value is my middle name. Are we? Uh, so we just. Pre I think we just preordain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just preordain. Preordain. Maybe we'll hit another shot until. <sighs> what are they doing? Oh, okay. I'm not sure if we want either of them. No, I think we kind of want to just put them both to the bottom. Get in the sea! Mm. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess next time we're casting a sneak attack. 
Do, you, do we need to brainstorm? I actually don't to brainstorm right now. No, the only thing that we'd want to hit off a brainstorm is a city of traitors. Because then we'd be able to cast a sneak attack this turn and then next turn as well. Yeah. But it doesn't do enough. I mean, it's it, this, no. the city I think we of traitors. Brainstorm end of turn. Yeah. Matt, that's not how you play brainstorm. Yeah, God, Matt. <laughs> Everyone knows that you never brainstorm on it. No, it, in, it, in, in, in a in in a in a combo <laughs> in a combo deck, I completely understand. So, guys, you want to use your mana now, so that next turn you can play a land, play sneak attack, and hold up the red to activate it. No, no, that's what I understand. In Delver, you don't do it though. Mystic Sanctuary. What are you getting back? Ponder. Yeah. My opponent is doing Ponder, stone. Not four. I know. That that's disconcerting. That says the hand is either very good or very bad. It's probably very bad. Yeah. yeah. I've in fact got no other blue cards in hand, that's why. That's that's what I'm going on. Ooh. There's a show and tell, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so yeah. put back both one of the ones next turn. Yeah, omniscience at the bottom of the two. Yeah. So sneak at the top. So omniscience first, then sneak on top. Hold on. Yeah, so then sneak, okay, fine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then under. So we are show and or telling, or are we sneak attacking? No, it's showing. I think we are showing and or telling. We're showing and or telling! We I love showing and or telling. Know all about what we have brought to class today. <laughs> showing and or telling! Ooh! Oh. <laughs> well, uh, let's go for it then. Let's yeah. Luck puts omniscience. Yep. Cast omniscience. What are they going to put in? Now I'm terrified. Oh. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Nothing? Uh, or... So we cast sneak attack first, right? Yes, we should cast Sneak Attack and then cast Ponder. And then cast Ponder, yeah. And then draw Grizzlebrand, and then... And then Grizzle. And a Lotus Battle. Okay, cast it on... Oh, fear! Is this what this feels like when you do when you did it? When I did Eureka? No, it was a lot better than this. Ah, oh. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just... We'll draw one of the Grizzlebrands, I guess. Yeah. Put on top. I mean, we're going to draw both of them. Well, they'll have so. swords, won't they? Yeah, then we just draw 14 and play another Rizzle Brand. Yeah, I like it's not that much of a problem. Yeah! Guys, I'm doing the thing! Is there an idea to sneak attack it in that turn instead? Uh, I don't think we're in a particular rush to. No, we're not, I suppose, yeah. Alright, am I drawing cards? Yeah. yeah. Just draws. Yeah! Draw the Emrakul and then we cast the Emrakul in the game. Oh, they're puff, they're stuck. Draw, draw another seven. Draw another seven. Draw another seven. Just draw more cards. Yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. there's a force of will. I... Can I pitch the force No, we don't care. We have another grizzle brand. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. I got, like, I got so, I got so that's excited. Fine. <laughs> I got We're so... also drawing another seven cards. Like, yeah. there's not much more they can do at this point. <laughs> oh my god, you're drawing so many cards. Oh god, my hand! Oh, oh, just... I, I would cast Emrakul using Omniscience. Guys. And triggering the Emrakul. Guys, guys, just, 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 can, can you just give me a minute? And then you cast some this hints again. <laughs> guys, oh. guys, guys, this is, this is, this is, this is, I feel quite, Strong I feel unwell. Guys. I feel unwell for my opponent. I know, I feel like I'm really skillful. No, no, we're half skillful. No, you're right, we're not. <laughs> uh, so we're playing against four colour a snow. Yeah. Or bad snow. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's blood moon because of... The land base, but they I do run slow. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about this a lot, and then when I when I played against it at the GP, some one of the the snow decks actually brought in Blood Moon against me, oh, which makes right, me so think the Blood, Blood Moon, Moon is bad. <laughs> we want the Fluster Storms in there. We definitely want the Fluster Storms and the Blast. The card I'm not sure on for this matchup is Arcane Artisan. I don't know whether we want it as just. Will they be really right? like rest in peace? Oh, oh. Do we not? Do we not want like Echoing Truth just to like deal with any? We have I don't think so. I don't think they have problematic permanence. Yeah. I, I think I think if they have problematic permanence then they're probably planeswalkers. Yeah. So I'm not sure I want the arcane artisans. Although maybe we want to counter it before value. Yeah, we'll see. But I don't know. As like usual, I would recommend cutting some preordains. <laughs> We're not cutting all of them, are we? No, no, only two. What are we taking out? Uh, We've got two more cards to put. What else is not great? I don't know how good Days is, because they're going to be a control deck, so Days kind of feels... Yeah, they, 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 they're going to wait until, like, turn four to do anything. The only time so, Days is yeah. going to be good is when they tap out for Jace, so I think... Yeah, two it's, Days... It's reasonable. Yeah. 
So, what are we bringing? Fluster Storm and... And the Blasts. Blasts! I never... No one got to do the Cabal Therapy thing. That's why I split my Blasts. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting hand. And definitely a keep. Yeah, I'll keep this. We want to preordain into a show and tell and omniscience, and then we just win the game. Yes. Yeah, once yeah. you have omniscience in play, it's difficult to lose. <laughs> I've done it before. Theo, no, the reason why you lost with Omniscience is because you played all your silly eight mana enchantments. Well, as you know, whenever I had Omniscience out, oh wow, this is aggressive. Why are you pyroblasting? Oh, red, pyro we will let that resolve. Yeah. yeah, they can they can have that one. They won that yeah. battle. Yeah, geez, guys, I don't know if we can. Come That's back a bit aggressive. That. that is too aggressive, folks. Chat, if you're enjoying yourself, welcome. This is Eternal Frenemies, uh, the legacy stream where a, a Persian and a Jew play legacy. This week, we have special guest Matt Brown, top eight competitor from GP Bologna. We're playing some Steak and Show, folks. Give the channel a follow. It's Christmas time, so feel free to say hello. And we're playing, yeah, we're just playing some fun magic. It's going to be great. That seems loose. Reb said, Nick, you're not wrong. It Lucy Goosey is definitely there. Also, guys, feel free to. Oh, I didn't put back seat. You guys can back seat. I didn't put back seat. That's because I got Matt and Theo. That's enough back seating for one day anyway. But guys, feel free to put your comments in. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I don't mind losing to Lewis. Lewis actually can play magic. I can't play magic. It's interesting that they casting Ponder now. Like I don't know. Did they draw Ponder for turn? No, they probably just thought, yeah, I'm gonna get him with the Pyroblast. <laughs> I don't know, maybe they think they have to hold up Pyroblast because they don't have a force to interact with the turn one show. Just, actually, that's not a bad show. Are we pondering? Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's play magic. Oh, there's a show and tell. Oh, there's a show and tell. So, what are we drawing, show I and would, I would, I would put Tarn at the bottom, show and tell in the middle, and preordain at the top. Yeah. And draw yeah. preordain. Because yeah, we want to have the blue card for force. Case. And for whatever, if for whatever reason they have the am discard spell, we want am to I playing flooded? Am I playing flooded strand? <laughs> yeah, we're playing flooded strand and passing. El paso. Yeah, we're definitely not. We're definitely not cracking. No. no we don't El paso. Want to... El paso. Old El paso. This is such a greedy mana base. That's why I don't like these four color snow decks. I'm just there, guys. Why the greed? You don't like the volcanic island forest deck. Just, yeah, that, that I mean, famous I mean, Volcanic Island Snow Covered Forest deck. Like, just, there's to so me, much yeah. greed. The greed is so real. To me, to me they're telegraphing. Oh, okay. Are we, play, are we just going to play sure. City and play Show and Tell? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, we want to fetch first, right? No, no we're too late. Too late. Don't, don't fetch. Why do we need to fetch? We don't need to fetch. We, we because could have now, fetched. if we want to fetch, we lose the city. Ah. It's fine. We don't. We don't need to fetch. We can no. just cast this show and tell. And hope they don't have a veil of summer plus a fort counter spell. Come on. Come Which on. Which is what I feel like they're telegraphing. It's unlikely they have another blast in hand. That's yeah, fine. Well, Theo, you worry too much. No, I'm just thinking of the possible lines. Oh. Oh, there you go. It resolved. Oh, oh God! Please Draw don't. seven. No, no, come. On. No, I'm scared. This is going to be something that. Oh, you got yeah. it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Have that pyroblast. Why didn't they just flash it in and pyroblast our show and tell? Yeah. Oh. Like an Oko or something. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be either yeah. Oko or. Why are they? Hold on. What? Why are they putting pyroblast? Because they're the targeting it with the snapcaster because they have a trigger. It's the only relevant thing. They can't, there's no point doing Ponder because it's sorcery. Just seems... Oh, we're drawing seven. We, wanted... oh, no. No, we should have drawn seven before combat. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Don't panic. I can't draw Because we could draw petal, 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 sneak attack. Can I, can I still draw seven now? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, we still probably should. Yeah, let me draw seven. Everyone knows beginning of combat is the best phase to draw seven. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> also, we couldn't... Yeah. Oh, we had sneak attack, sorry. Uh, okay, so... Are we drawing in? Let me just... Mm, uh, we would in, in response to a Swords or an Oko. I yeah, I think we don't want to now because we, we'd much rather do it after our discard step. Yeah. So I think we just want to discard like some of the lands yeah. and 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, just some of the lands, I guess. Yeah. All right. How many cards do you have? Eleven. So Eleven. all the lands. Oh, what they're doing? Oh. oh. They are fetching. Are, are you fetching? Are you trying to sort me? I'm gonna go. It's gonna be a sword, isn't it? Did you say, Theo? Did we you should... say your ma Did you say your opponent was a man? I said no. It's gonna be swords, isn't it? Brainstorm. You know, you could have just done. Yeah. You could have done, done, done that on so the Volk. Could have done that on the Volk. Could have done that on the Volk. Why did well, like, you? We're having a go at our opponent here, but it could be that they've got a legitimate line, and we just don't know. We about should it. also remember that our force is bad on this turn because they still have a red glass. Or a uh, yeah. Okay. So we should just try Clean and get up. a discard. Oh, clean up. Get all these lands away. Discard. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just get rid of. Get rid of four lands. Probably the city. Is the oh. Um, Reb, yeah, okay. Reb said Nick goes says I swear city doesn't go away with fetched lands. So whenever does. you hundred percent does. It does. Okay. Just check. This is whenever you play another land though. Yeah. Are you playing you play. them a fetch? It's a It was a. I'm pretty sure it's a to uh, when a land enters the battle. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Don't that's tell me you. Don't tell me you've drawn it right now. Again, we're okay with that. I am, but this opponent, the way this opponent is playing. It's, it's making a my triggering. is the way that I play. It, I'm not gonna lie, and, and I shouldn't be getting annoyed, guys. But this is the way I play Magic when I don't know how to play a four color deck. So Volt the only ruling for City of Traitors are 15 years old. It's a fairy time. <laughs> oh, that's a fairy. Um, yes. Oh, four four. Yeah. Yeah. Preordain. Yeah, hundred percent. They will likely. Wait, they probably don't have a force. Excellent. Well, they might have another red blast, which is why they get the Volk open. But why don't you just... Uh, I'm confused. No, opponents... Play, opponent. I suppose they, they, they probably assume that we have... Okay. Um. So, so we... We attack. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Uh, no. Why not? Why can't I... Um, if we draw off Grizzlebrand, there's a chance that we're able to sneak attack and have a Lotus Petal and an Emrakul. Right, let's draw them. Or a land and an Emrakul. Or, or a land and an Emrakul. Well, I mean, we have a land in hand. Okay, so... Uh, so, no. We don't. What do you mean? We just... We don't have an Emrakul in hand. No, we don't. Yeah, for now we should just attack. What, and draw again? Mm. Um... No, no, we don't necessarily. Yeah. Oh, they have recognised we, we've won. We've won. Don't They've panic. only got two cards in hand. I don't think there was much yeah. they could have done. With there. that spot, I would have just attacked, tapped the city, uh, fetched, played the sneak attack. Do that again. For some reason, bow, bow, bow. If for some reason they have a fight over it, um, you you can force before having to go to discard. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Fun times, fun times. Everybody's loving the fun times. So I can't actually see anywhere from a quick Google. Um, whether which way it works. Whether it works with with a fetch land. I'm ninety nine percent sure that the land the city goes away. Interesting. I would have bet the other way, but I've only played with city twice, so I'll take your word for it. That's okay. a very interesting hand. Oh. Listen, I want to keep it for a show and tell, a possible. Possible turn two show and tell right there. Could be that anything. Is, I'll keep it. Yeah. yeah. Theo, you're oh, I hope we don't get stifled. You're not going to get stifled. Just have faith in the cards, and the cards will have faith in you. That's basically how I play. I don't have, faith in, my, I don't have faith in my opponent's cards. That's the problem. I can have faith in my card as much as I want. Right. I'm going to defer to other people that might know Legacy better than me. Oh, I, yes, I'm sorry. I might know Legacy, but I don't know Legacy. If I vaguely understood Legacy, then it would be... Screw Eureka. Let's go and play Delva. Yeah! That's me! That's me, I'm playing Delva. Uh, yeah, just, let's just ponder. We, we're doing well on the dice rolls here. Uh, ponderare. Pond. Show, no? So, land, show, land, Grizzle Brown, show and tell? Oh, Sure, actually. I think we definitely put the show and tell as a second card of our library. Yeah. So right well, right to left? Yeah. Right to left, I think, is good. Matt? Because it, it means, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It means, they're more, it means they're more likely to, if they thought sees us, for example, take the Grizzle Brand rather than the Emrakul. Yeah. Uh, um, and it means we might not get the Emrakul shuffle trigger, which means we will definitely draw the show and tell. Yeah. 
Stack is easy. All right. Apparently, I am wrong, and it doesn't go away if you fetch. Oh, okay. Let's get someone chaliced. Please be like Red Dead wins. We just beat this. It would have been good to know that before I defeated the GP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that never actually mattered. <laughs> I don't know. I think it might have. Oh, oops. So um, do we show and tell in Emrakul or Grizzlebrand? Always the wait, the mountain or Grizzlebrand for sure. Okay, sure, because we're assuming it's some sort of burn list. I mean, if yeah, if they're burn, guys, you have this seven guys, seven of the I'm just, yeah. Okay, okay, this is where I now panic. Yes. Don't panic. Pyroblast. It could be. It could be like Painter. Yeah, please don't pyroblast. Could be. If it is, then I'm yeah. not even like, guys, Chat will confirm. I'm not even looking at the screen right now. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. Quick. Don't panic. Everything's fine. They're gonna, bridge, they're gonna put bridge in. It's gonna be hilarious. Please don't put bridge. <laughs> oh, bridge, well. you're like. <laughs> Bridge or like a calm. Oh, Trinus! Get... Oh, Trinus, yeah, you got it, friend. This is mono red prison. This is fine. Are we drawing cards? I no, there's that. no need to. No, because we'd have to discard because we can't cast anything because of Trinus. Because <laughs> <laughs> fucking Trinus. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, oh, I remember playing. I remember playing. I remember playing Eureka Rector Fit against mono red prison, and they went turn one Trinus fear. Please, no I was bridge. Like, sure. Please, no bridge. Blood Moon. Ah, <laughs> you got it. Fine. No, our studio tree doesn't get removed now. <laughs> and we've got a land on top of our library, haven't we? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, we have an island. Yeah, free mana. We um, still got free mana, everybody. Everything's fine. I know. There we go. So it was hilarious because you just didn't do anything for four turns, and I, I would now draw seven. Give me those. Yeah. Give me those cards. Oh, baby. Uh, that's All okay. right. I guess we should. Here's, show an here's another one I'm not sure on. If we have omniscience in play, yeah, we still have to pay three. We have to pay three. What? Yeah, that's how it works. Blech. Because it's not it's mana cost. It's it's you do mana reduction then mana thing. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, oh, yeah, no, it is. We cast lotus petal. Yeah, so cast lotus petal. Oh, we can just show and tell him the omniscient. No, um, we can oh. show and tell him the sneak attack. Wait, wait. Yeah, we could show. Uh, the... I guess the problem I have. If he had bridge, though, he would have played bridge. Uh, right? I feel like Instead he would have done, yeah. I'm playing Lotus Bell. Sure, it, it costs three mana. Oh, it costs three mana. Oh, Jesus, I get it. So let's... Okay, can I play a land or no. play the land already? I've played Snow already played uh, land. So the reason I said I would play Lotus Bell oh, is... Yeah, do the Lotus Bell rather than go, give him a show. You can go sneak attack and have the mana open to use it. This is the, yeah. this is the worst mana rock that I've ever played. Uh, yeah, Trinosphere is a really annoying card, and Omniscience doesn't help it. Okay. Hit him with your rhythm stick. Also known Hit as me Ranch. with your rhythm stick. Is that the nickname? Is that really the nickname? Yeah! I love that song as well, anyway. Matt, see, the good thing is Matt understands my bad memes, and knows <laughs> that just to embrace the force that is Sahar Mahadi, um, we have to discard three cards. Uh, what am I discarding? Uh... What am I discarding? Am I discarding Emrakul? No. Ancient Tomb? No. What am I Ancient discarding? Ancient Tomb, and Omniscience, and a Ponda. So it doesn't really matter. Omniscience. You want to keep the sneak attack, the land, and the Emrakul. Other than that, it doesn't matter. Uh, days? Yeah, probably ship the days. Yeah. We're never going to cast it. Yeah. Alright, Ponan, what are you doing? Oh, they've got the same lands as us. That's exciting. What, you mean mountains? No, City of Traitors. Oh, Chandra's good. Fine. Chandra? Deal. What? Fine. Would you like to deal four damage to a Grizzle Brand? <laughs> yeah. Guys, as much as I love playing this deck, Chandra's my favourite Planeswalker. Chandra TOD is my favourite Planeswalker of all time. You know, we better not draw seven cards three times, because it could get quite embarrassing. That would be dangerous. It would be. But you've got to live on the wild side of the wild side of sometimes. All right. So, okay. Untap. Okay, so play Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Not Ancient Tomb? Ancient Tomb, tomb, ancient yeah. tomb Sneak Attack. Yeah. Leaving open the yeah. Lotus Pile. Hit me with your... And then we just put Emrakul in. Yeah. Oh, it's like easy as one, two, three. And A, B, C. Why did I not play... Why? Why did I just not play this 
At Bologna. Because when you lose, it feels a lot worse. Than... It is. Oh yeah. <laughs> when, when you when you have the hands where you have four sneak like three sneak attacks, three show and tells, and, and a force. Just add this on the stack, a, everyone. A two one. Okay, so against. We want truths. Yeah, truth. We want answers to a bridge. Answers to bridge. Uh, and that's probably it, right? Probably. I think Alex just matches up really well oh. against them. I mean, we do have to find our echoing truth if they put a bridge into play. Is this not, a, is this not an arcane artisan matchup? No. No, I don't think so. That's it's fine. definitely Maybe not. we... How do you feel about pyroclasm? I mean, it kills their rabble masters, but I think we're normally putting something into play quickly enough where it doesn't matter. True, but I, I also kind of want to get both these omniscients out of that because I don't think we need them, so... True. Maybe we just have one pyroclasm? There you go. I think omniscience, omniscience is our quickest kill, right? Because it allows us to cast Iron Rockle. Yeah, but you assume yeah. they don't have Trinus. I, I mean, again, I'm talking from Omni show experience, not show and I, I, I think it's our quickest kill, but I think it's unnecessary. Omniscience That's, is yeah, mostly... The, the main reasons I wanted to play Omniscience over like the Spirit Guide version. Because the Spirit Guide version is obviously quicker. I wanted to play Omniscience because I was expecting an uptick in uh, Caracas, mostly. Caracas. Gotcha. So you want to be able to cast it again. Because, yeah, Omniscience is just the easy way to beat Caracas. You can beat Caracas yeah. without it, but it's the easy way. Okay, I'm doing this. Two for two. Yeah. Yeah. Get in the sea. Get in... I mean, yeah, for the most part, you just... There's not that many cards you can change. I don't know that I would ever want to sideboard more than six cards in any matchup. I Ever? don't think you could find six cards that you want to. No. So, that seems okay. I yes. mean, a time on Chalice would be quite nice if we've got a Force of War. Okay. Yeah, time on Chalice isn't that bad, because we just draw the show and tell. Yeah! Time on Blood Moon, we're going to have to force. I don't know much. Yeah, Blood Moon's a bit more annoying. Yeah, Yeah. this, this matchup we're a little bit weaker to Blood Moon. But I don't know, I don't, like, should they keep Blood Moon in against us? I don't feel like it does that much. Well, you said someone bought something to put it in against you. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and I, I think mean, they I were incredibly that wrong. <laughs> right. From Mox. Yeah, yeah, that one's fine. Putting in... It's almost as bad a mana rock as our Lotus Petal last time. That's Simeon Spirit Guard. Oh, wow. Oh. We're really not going for that quick mana. Put Bridge into play. We are going to have to force this. Yeah, we have to force this. I don't know if we want to get rid of the Truth or the Brainstorm. It'd have to be Brainstorm, because Truth is our only answer yeah. to Bridge. To the bridge. Literally, in R75. And it's fine. We can get rid of the Brainstorm and then just draw perfectly. Well, yeah, we'll just draw a Show and Tell. No, we'll and draw another a... Show and Tell. We'll draw a Daze, actually, I think would be our best card. And another Daze. <laughs> What do we draw? What do we draw? What do we draw? What do we they've draw? Hot, they've got to stop and repeat. Oh, okay. I would say the Misty, misty. to play around a second yeah. Blood Moon. Yeah, get around that Blood Moon. Um, misty. Misty, misty go. An island. Yeah. Well, we don't need... We don't need to fetch No, no. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, Just if they play good. a Blood Moon. If they don't, then our best draw is Brainstorm to get rid of this, one of these stinky lands. What's, what's the land ever done to you, Matt? Probably been stuck in his hand one too many times. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be honest. Exactly one two mana land every game. Exactly one. No more, no less. How many did you play? Four? Five. Five. Three, Ooh, two, I don't two, know. Six. Oh. 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 Do you hear that, chat? Even, yeah. even top oh. eight competitor Matt Brown gets land stuck. Yeah. No, even top eight competitor Matt Brown gets bullied by Theo. <laughs> oh. Oh. I mean, Do you know, as I said earlier, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to defer this one to JPA because he plays five. <laughs> well, okay, right, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll confirm with them. I think the most hilarious thing is, though, is that I've always, whenever I've played like my most competitive decks, which has been like Eureka, Eureka Rector Fit, I've never lost to Show and Tell. Uh, because, that's because you're no, playing a lot of big men. I know, I know. It's, it's because they go put in on the Emrakul oh, and my... I put in Humility, and it's perfect. Yeah, play another Misty, and we're in no rush. I mean, it's fine for us, because their turn one was this Blood Moon, their turn two was <laughs> Land Go. Yeah. I'm worried what they have as a five... Oh, they probably have a couple of Fiery Confluences or something like that, I can't... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, what do they need six mana for? Maybe a Khan? Uh, Big Chandra? 
Uh, the Fario Confluence. There we go. Alright. You got it. You're paying. I did, yeah, I, I named it perfectly. They, well, I mean, they didn't have anything else that would vaguely have made sense. But even then, I don't know why they would have kept it in hand. And not Maybe the hand is just two more Fiery Confluence. <laughs> just, well, in that case, we're in trouble, because we'll lose. Nah, because we got a one. Uh, yeah, then we fetch. <laughs> Are we fetching nah, now? Nah. No, we're not fetching now. No. Nah. Because we might I mean, die from two more fiery there confluences. There is a non-real, yeah. There's a non-zero <laughs> shot. The hand is two more confluences. <laughs> there's, I mean, uh, yeah, I think they play, they play four, don't they? Yeah. Uh, I've never, again, I've never actually played as Legacy Burn. All these decks we need to try out. Uh, um, cracking to play Preordain. Yeah. Yes, because we can so, draw show and show tell. Show and tell. At this point, I'm not playing around the uh, double confluence anymore. <laughs> no, no I, th I think that's not really our line. Uh, oh, uh, I think I'll bottom the force, top the preordain, yeah. and then play the Volk and preordain. Because we kind of want to keep a fetch in case we draw a brainstorm. And we oh, can't. That's the show. Yeah, we, we right, we win next time, yeah. basically. So. We want this show, not this other thing. Well, they might put Bridge in against us. Which yeah, if they put bridge in, they put bridge in. We well, have an well, echoing truth. Have, well, we have, we have the answer in our deck in our hand. Like we've gotten a little bit lucky. Legend. If that's Theo, that. we're not lucky. No, just... We've been drawing cards. Theo is just. But yeah, been... we, we started with it in our top. Sorry, we have one answer to bridge in our seventy-five, and no way to tutor it up. Just good deck building. <laughs> just good deck building. Right. Deck sorry, building. our Lord and Savior JPA and my disobedience. What deck. do you mean we have no way to shoot her up? We have Gristlebrand. Okay. <laughs> yes. But once fun. we've drawn 14, a fiery confluence kills us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just don't get a sit. You draw seven, then you hit them, then you draw seven. Oh, you can't hit them. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. Yeah, hey, just my... draw 14 and draw it. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I will see to your top eight knowledge. <laughs> okay. Let's. You've played Trinus so go. Yeah, we go City of Traitors show and tell, I think. Yeah. We, don't, we, we like The only thing that we care about is we don't care about the two life of Ancient. We care a little bit about the two life of Ancient too. Yeah, we care less about losing our land if we play another land. Uh, showing and or What did you bring to class today, friend? I have spaghetti. It's going to be a bridge. <laughs> spaghetti versus oh, bridge. Great. Oh, oh, shit. That's pretty rough. Yeah. Uh... GG. GG. Right, fine. We'll find another set. It's cool. Yeah, it's fine. We have plenty of time. Uh, yeah, it does get killed. It does. That's Creator Maker is one of their answers, from what I remember. Uh... Where's the Grizzle Brown when you need it? This is bad deck building. <laughs> oh. Oh. I guess shuffled. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, we, we, get, our, we get our cantrips back. And I'll I show think... them tell. And I'll show them The number of lands that we have in our... yeah, I, mean, I mean, they've got one card in hand. Yes, it's probably a bridge knowing our luck. We have an echoing nah, They truth. would have for sure put in the bridge. They no, they the would definitely in. put it. Oh, no, they would put the creative maker in. Definitely. Why doesn't no, that mean they don't care? The no, because they don't care about any other players. Guys, they don't have right. anything. I tell you right now, they've got nothing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they have nothing. But... Yeah, another fear, maker. fear, you just. Live by the cards. I'm, I'm thinking of the lines. They okay. should put in bridge because if we put in Grizzlebrand, when we already yes. played the lines, then they just play the Grizzlebrand on their turn. Well, <laughs> and then they just play the bridge. On well, we've got turn. the show and tell. We just don't have any fatties. Yeah, just we're going to top deck a Grizzlebrand. It'd be gorgeous. Are we playing Ancient Tomb? Oh no, because no, we, no, we have City of oh, Traitors. Oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Also, we do. We have two draw steps: draw show and tell, and then you draw a Grizzlebrand. That's how it works. I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, guys, just relax. We, we're under literally no pressure right now. You're right. You are very right. We will be under pressure when they double Fiery Confluence. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Phil, you get so panicky. I'm thinking of lines that make us lose. Two mana. Three. Can't lose. Going into... Here we go, another Fiery Confluence. <laughs> it's going to be Rebel Master. It's a weird way of tapping three mana. Another oh, another creator maker. Cool. Sure. That's fine. All right, draw a grizzle brand. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. All right, chat. I wonder why they have a stop at our... They've probably just got... Yes, All right, preordain. Sure. Cost three, remember? Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> stop casting free mana for everything. It's the shittest cantrip. Uh, nah, those two suck. Yeah, get rid of them. Get in the sea. Top deck resolve. Top deck resolve kick. Nope. Oh. oh. So, uh, we don't play then. No. No, you don't do anything. We're saying go. You guys getting so excited? Just take it, take it easy. Take it easy. We're the one that are thinking about our possible lines. That's a good thing. <laughs> you you assume that I think about my possible lines when I play magic. Well, it's, when you're playing combo decks, it's actually quite important. No, it, yeah, I, that's true. When you're thinking about combo decks, when you're playing cool. Delver, then it's a lot less of a what am I out, what am I out here? It's more of a. <laughs> well, it's true. It's true. It's not as yeah. It's yeah. Less. Like Delva, you you can you can play badly and still win games. I know. <laughs> That's I how basically my day one. Badly. Just not well. <laughs> well, they've, they've got a two two guys. We I do have to be conscious they have this two two. They have a two two, but we have a fog. What's a we fog? We do have a fog. What's a fog? An echoing truth. I mean, it's echoing truth. We can bounce the thing. Save too low. <sighs> Come on, let's let's pre -order. Let's hit that grizzle. Let's hit that. Let's hit that grizzle B. <laughs> We're hmm. boring. Get rid of those. Grizzlebee. That's not Grizzlebee. That's not it. This Such is the one thing with this deck that does get me. It's just like, it's just like you've only got like a set amount of threats. Just want threats. I wonder what they have in hand. I'm really curious as to. Why would you I think they play probably anything? just have lands, but they don't want to play lands because they have a city. I, well, guys, I just, I just think they've recognised that we we're spinning our wheels, and they're not, they don't want to commit to the board. I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand that. Well, they might be able to kill us in a couple of turns. That's probably true, but they're quite go. a lot of direct damage, don't they? All right, ponder. Oh come on! If you don't hit it now, I'm gonna throw a fit. Uh, oh, oh, actually, that's not no, that this bad. is good. This is good. Yeah. So. Let's... Island, then Emrakul, and then Pyroclasm. Say so the tomb. Wait. Are we doing no. it now? We just do it next. So the problem is, is that if we play the tomb, we take two. If we don't play the tomb and we don't Pyroclasm this turn, we don't like we just get hit. We, we take anyway. two and then we take some more next turn anyway. So, so what I think am we I doing? Play the tomb and cast Pyroclasm. Am I playing the yeah, ancient each... tomb? Yeah. Okay. So city dies. That's fine. Take two off city. Red. It's a paraclasm. Feels bad, man. If they have it, it's a lightning it. strike. It's a lightning strike. I've basically played lightning strike. <sighs> All right. You're up, friend. Can you do I like how you call them friends, like they aren't trying to stab you at this point. Having played do you this have decade. Fiery Confluence and are we dead? No, they'll probably have the exquisite no. Firecraft, which is uncounterable. No. Uh, yeah, I guess we take two. Oh. Danger. Gutsy play, gutsy play. Three mana, what could it be? Oh, could be Blood Moon. No, oh, me. are we going to get guided? Get Surely upped. there's no way they cast this. Up. Wait a second. They're making an. They're making an up. No, they do. They do cast it because it gives them Why? enough permanence next turn that if we swing with Grizzle Brand, they can keep the Chandra. They're playing an up. You can play your up. Yeah, it means they don't. It means they don't have to set the board. Although to be honest, with an Echoing Truth in hand, we're going to show and tell an Emerald. We can always um bounce something. The trigger on the stack. Okay, so I would play Delta and fetch for an island and cast Shantel. We don't want to use the tomb if we can help. Yeah, it. tomb is taking now... one versus taking two is pretty pretty big. Showing and or telling. What did you bring to class, friend? Let's I got the... more spaghetti. More, more bloody so spaghetti. much more spaghetti. Oh, they haven't got Nothing. anything. That's a tomb. tomb. Oh, yeah, I think your read on the lands was probably quite correct. Alright. If they attack, I would block. 100%. Yeah. 
Just a fire. Just a fire. Well, no, because if they then triple fiery confluence. I know, it is still. We're still dead to triple f to fire confluence, but they. Uh, well, we're dead to like exquisite firecraft. Magus of the moon. Cast that one. Cast that one. We're fine right. with that. Well, we're not happy with it. I'll take it. What do you mean? We've got islands. We've got two basic lands. It's fine. Uh, also, this ancient dude doesn't hit us for damage anymore. So if we if they cast this, we no. attack. We're they sacrifice three. their six their six mana or their five mana things in Trinosphere. Then we can echoing truth the bounce something and not die. Yeah, that's the dream. Another land. Oh. All right, guys. All right, let's uh, do the win thing. Let's do so we bounce the Chandra, I'm pretty sure, right? We should attack first. Yeah, attack them first. Alright, attack. I'd like to attack for 15. Attack you. The best part about playing this deck is when you attack and you get to announce your Annihilator trigger. <laughs> A trigger. Emrakul trigger. <coughs> Surely they just blow up all their lands? Yeah, which is why we then bounce the Chandra. And then we bounce the Chandra and then they have a Trinosphere in play. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, they're getting rid of that Trinosphere. That's fair. You still bounce. Yeah, I hope they keep there. Ancient Tomb. Yeah, they kept Ancient Tomb, which they can't use. They got a one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're thinking about Fiery Comfort. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Wait, so we echoing truth. Chandra. Get in the sea. Yeah. Gg. Gg. What? Well, actually, we might just get completely dunked on here. No, we have days. We've got days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, even days saves us. It's going to be land if, if they go, If they go, like, petal, land, crater maker, we have the days. I mean, yes. That is a line. As you keep saying, Theo, it is a line. Oh. they got two mana. Two mana. They can't use this ancient tomb. Because they're on one. Yay! GG! 2-1! We'll take it. Yay! Easy game, easy life, everyone. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Um, oh. Easiest game of my life. Hope everyone's well, chat. I, don't like chat. I, don't like I hope you're great. Honorary prison. Hope you are all great and enjoying the legacy content. Um, Is that what we're meant to be providing? Shark Caster Mage. I love this name. We lost the dice roll. Sadness on the deck. First time this stream. Yes. We can't really complain. No, we cannot complain, but that is fine. One thing I like about Sneak and Show is that it, it's very efficient. It's like, you either win quick or you lose You could quick. play this on Saturday if you wanted to. Who? Me? Yeah. Someone has to write, se write 7,000 words by Monday. Oh, I'm hearing excuses for why someone can't play magic. Um, we keep, Valid excuses, but we excuses keep, the same. We keep this right, we keep Matthew. I hope we don't yeah. get someone chaliced. We get turn one chaliced, we get turn one chaliced. Um... Uh, yeah, we lose. Well, no, sorry. We could draw. The blind show and tell. What do you mean? Volk, Ponder, and then the Ponder's gonna have Soul Land, show and tell. I don't mm. know much. Then we're gonna draw the Soul Land naturally because we're on the plane. We're on the draw. Ooh, perfect. Yeah. You it's, two uh, are like him. all forest. forest. Maverick. Ooh, Maverick. Point. Every. I'm saying it now. Maverick. No, it could be elves. Well, elves or share, Maverick? Seven. Elves well, they have Mulligan to six. Yeah. Elves or Maverick? There you go, done. Could be a bad nick for hand. I'm saying elves or Maverick. Do, 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 no, fear. do you know why I can do this game? Because I had to condition myself with modern to recognise the first two lands. This is how I can yeah, do this game. Yeah, but off of a single basic land, it's normally pretty hard considering uh... the breadth of legacy. Okay. Um, Misty... Priode Misty Priode? No, Volk. How likely are they to have a wasteland if they live with Forest Go? Probably quite high, actually. That's my bad. 
Uh, I'm going with preordain or ponder first. Ponder. Ponder at it! If we ponder, and we see two cards we like, we can get rid of the last one with the mystery. Okay. Do you want any yeah, of these? No, no. Get well, to uh, I think we just want to shuffle. Yeah, we have two other countries to have. We kind of just want to look at hey, the there, there like we that go. One. That one's good. GG. GG, everyone. Chat, GG. Everyone. I mean, the problem is that with the basic basic forest unit, we're thinking of like, I'm thinking like crop rotation decks. I'm thinking about Knights of the Relic Crees. I'm thinking about combos. I mean, there's a wasteland, but we're okay with that. I mean, we'll draw a soul land. I mean, soul land would be I mean, lovely. Nope. That's still fine. Just so, Misty Rainforest misty, and then. Preordain. Pre ordained. Snow covered island. Pre ordained. Soul land. Looking for something with the card type land. Oh, two is great. So, They're both good. Yeah, I'll keep them both on top. So, on top. Yeah. On top. Go. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. So now it's probably Maverick. Oh. Or a crop rotation. Yeah, it could, it, could be, it, could, it could be some of those weird loam decks. You know, with like, oh, you see, the savannah makes it look a lot more like that. Yeah. See, listen to me. No, 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 no. This is the second time you've done this. You shouldn't instantly assume off of something that's not deterministic what that they're playing. If someone up opposite me goes turn one forest go, I don't sit there going, oh yes, that's Maverick. I no, I, I Maverick. said it was elves as well. If my opponent oh. goes forest, go. Although saying that, although go. saying that, I did not know my opponent was playing a Lauren on round seven on top table. I generally thought they were playing Shardless Bug. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <work. laughs> so let's let's not be about the bush guys. I, I don't I don't get it right all the time. All right, Ancient Tomb. Do I play? I don't play the Lotus Battle, do I? There's no harm. Uh, we play the Lotus Battle in yeah. case they run. Mana Tithe? We put the Grizzle Brand into play, am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, they're more likely to run Caracas. I put the Grizzle Brand in, draw seven. Yeah. We might hit that dream three Lotus Battles. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Caracas. There's the Akus. Uh, there's one. Alright, so. That's beautiful, because next turn we get to um, show and tell in sneak attack and then double, yeah. All right. double sneak attack, which is pretty sweet. So, okay. We'll go what to am our I... end What are we pick? Correct. We'll discard Brainstorm, Days, Grizzlebrand. So, this in my hand? Something else. So, clean up, go the Grizzlebrand. The yeah. yeah. So days. I mean, I like I like. Them. Well, yeah, but I'm worried about swords as well. So what do you want? So the, the, so the, the, but the thing is, so next time we go show until for sneak attack. Yeah. Activate sneak attack. Put in Emrakul. Go to combat. Yeah. If they bounce it, we put it in again. If they don't. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, what? Right. So, we don't care so, about the Grizzle Brand. So the days is get discarded, and uh, I think we want to keep one days. Okay, so one days. Uh, uh, get rid of one brainstorm. Yep. A grizzle brand. And. And. Probably another brainstorm. We kind of have everything we need. Yeah, we got everything we need. We don't need anything else, folks. Every day I'm shuffling. Do, 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 Giver of a runes. The Scottish mother. I thought she was just going to call her auntie. I didn't realise that it changed that much. No, yeah, she's the auntie. Well, the Guy is Cradle. That's a good card. That's pretty sick. Can't activate Stoneforge Mr. Bear if we're lucky. I mean, let them. I mean, Knight yeah, of the Really Query. Knight of the. Yes, they, they've got a 1 1, a, a 1 2, a 1 2, and a 3 3. I'm so scared. Why have they done that? Maybe they've got a crop rotation in hand for another Caracas, but even then, we've still just won this, right? Yeah. The last, so they have a sword in hand, so the last card would have to be crop. Yeah, and I don't know but how. In that case, I would ju I'm just happy with just making the Emrakul, making him go down to one permanent. 
Okay. Yeah, we're still very happy with that. So, so just show and tell, sneak attack. So we're going to I go... I guess they go to two permanents because they can put the sword in, but yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, I don't need to put the yeah. land in, do I? Don't need to, no. No. Okay. So you just... We yeah. might draw a Volk if we end up having to put the Crystal Brand in for some bizarre reason, and like... Okay. So we're putting Ember Call in? Or we're putting... No. Sneak, sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Their Knight of the Reliquary is going to be so big. Sword of Fire, nice. So oh, wow, they put their swords in. Activate the Sneak and put in the Ember Call. So... And then we want to go to combat. Yeah! My favourite part! I'd like to attack, please! Beep, beep! Sure. Yay! Get rid of all the things! Just need to see what they'll keep. They're thinking about it. They're gonna keep Night Caracas, I guess? I don't know. Yeah, I, I would keep Night Caracas. Oh, uh, we just put ourselves to dead. I think we have. We can put the Grizzle Brand into play in response to them swinging. But they can give it protection, right? Shit. Are we just dead? Yeah, it might be. Oh, God's sakes. Yeah. Oh, guys. Well, make him play it. Make him play it. Oh. Guys. What? You should have wrecking. We, oh, why do we need. Why do we put We should have. Uh, we didn't put it in because we're worried about the crop rotation into Caracas, which. Uh, okay. I guess shuffled. They can still misplay. They're not. They've recognised they've got dead on board. Yes, they can still misplay. Ah. Uh, now I'm annoyed. I'm not annoyed. I'm just like. Meh. Uh, all right. Come on, opponent. Recognize that you have exactsies on the board and kill us. All right. Put Grizzle Brown into play. Yeah. An easy mistake to make. I don't normally count my opponent's lands when I'm ever calling them. Yeah, fine. Let's see if they set up black. <laughs> And do it now we die there you go game one all right someone give me some pyroclasms I, I, I wonder what there is yeah we got pyroclasms and stuff pyroclasm <sighs> echoing truth submerge get in the sea what are we taking out uh what are we taking out take out omniscience or do we need omniscience I like omniscience because again because they're a Caracas deck Okay. So, a couple of pre days. I'm not a big fan of days. What, yeah. any days? I don't think so. Just cut all the days? I think so, because, like, a lot of the time they're going to have... Well, they can you can easily have green suns into Dryad Arbor to yeah. accelerate their mana out. Right. We don't. We kind of don't want a days on turn one. We kind of just want it to protect our combo. Yeah. And they're not really doing anything to stop us casting show or sneak. Yeah. By me. One card I'm not sure on in the matchup is I don't know if we want blood. Ooh. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Do you want blood moon? We can put blood moon in. You can try I think, it. I, I'm not a big fan of submerge here. Yeah. I think I'll cut the submerge and uh, preordain. Right. Okay. Send it back like that. Just because sometimes, like especially on the play, sometimes you can just make a turn one blood moon. And then they have like some fetches or something. They have yeah. to, if they don't have exactly basic forest, yeah, they can just lose. Right. We would like to go first, please. Thank you. Uh. Sure. Interesting. I mean. Yeah. Turn one, protein, turn two. Yeah. And recall. Like. Yeah. Yeah. This hand is. This hand is good. Why, why, why? Hopefully we find Soul and Omniscience. I think that's the ideal two cards that we draw. Every day I'm shuffling. 
So, Matthew, what are you planning on? What's the next format you have to tackle? The next format I have yeah. to tackle is pie on ear. Pie on and meal. We ditched both of them, I think. Yeah, I think we, we've well, got to go to both because we just need lands. Yeah, yeah I, I need to Let's test see Pioneer it. for Players Tour Brussels. Yeah! Oh, yeah! You... In January. Oh, yes! I know, like, three people at the Players Tour this year. If because the... my GP Top 8 qualifies me for the same event that someone winning a six-person PTQ in... Uh... <laughs> what? Yeah, I Folkestone. heard about that. What was it? Was a six-person PTQ in Folkestone. Yeah, I In heard. Folkestone? Yeah. yeah. Wait, that's in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're not. We're not forcing this, are we? Nah. No. It's a beautiful bird. Six players. What was it? Standard or something? Yeah. Yep. Well, I suppose it was also. They got, they got two Warhammer players, I believe, to fill the last two spaces so they wow. could sanction the BTQ. <sighs> Jesus. Which is At a least yikes. the guy will have a bit of experience. I suppose. Uh, right. Show and tell. Showing yeah. and or telling. What did you bring to class, everyone? They bought a Caracas. Never playing around Caracas. <laughs> Never. Never. I have spaghetti. Oh, show me the bloody Caracas. Come on in. Yay! Right, yeah, they're just going to get Caracas. I mean, Soviet. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fine. Great. So, that's Soviet. No, we've... Oh, I thought this wasn't a hard matchup. People forget that... One ones and two twos actually are really annoying. It's not what one ones and two twos we care about. It's that bloody knight. That pesky knight. Oh. Do we force this? <sighs> nah. Let it go. I don't think so. I don't think we can really afford to. We care too much about. Oh. Are we ready to rest in pepperoni? No, we're fine. We're not. We're literally Danger. fine. We're literally not. Why? Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of dead. We're dead. How? Because they, they haven't matched the relic forest or probably savannah to go and get Caracas. Yeah. Have you not played against Knights of the Relic much? I mean, it wasn't in really modern. It doesn't do anything. Actually, that's a good point. It probably doesn't do much in modern. <laughs> yeah, they'll just probably bounce it now. You're assuming your opponent has no to play magic. They beat us last game by seeing a line that we didn't. Yeah. That happens. Combat. Oh, let's go to combat. Maybe they misclick. <laughs> Maybe they misclick. Yep. Oh! No. There you go. It would have been so cool. Getting stomped by Maverick. Yeah. Guys, can we, can we just establish that, like, this is why people play Stifle? Or did play Stifle? It's because of nonsense like this? No. I... No, people play Stifle to get fetch lands. Okay. Yeah, no. Uh... Are we brainstorming? <laughs> my... Can I brainstorm? We've lost. We can see nothing at this point. I don't think it's much we can see. Why? Why do you see Because it? they're going to be swinging in for seven. Yeah. And uh, there's like there's very little that we can cast that will do enough. Yeah, I think I agree with Theo here. Like we've we've been out. We've been admittedly the Maverick player played really well. We we've just been beaten by a very good Maverick player who's probably played this matchup a thousand times. Yeah, we kind of, kind of played badly in game one, I think. But it's, uh, no, I think uh, I think Zaha played badly. I think. I played badly. <laughs> yeah, okay. me and Matt saw the line. We just didn't want to spoil it. The audience yeah. needed to see. We needed to expose everyone to the weird lines that are there in Magic. Not the first time I've been hit by that line. Is it not? <laughs> no. Actually, I've beaten an Emrakul swing with a Titania out. Ooh. Because then I just made 20 power and swung back at them. Alright, well we're going to... We're going to 3 and 2, hopefully. Oh! I'm playing against Eric! I'm going to say hello. Oh, Jesus. I'm saying hello. I'm saying hello. He's on... I assume he is on Grixis Delver. Yeah, he was on Grixis Delver recently. Although, to be honest, his first love is... I hope he's not on Reanimator, because then we're dead. Yeah, we just lose to Reanimator, right? Yeah, I've, I've only ever won the matchup once. <laughs> I've just said hello. Because... I'm saying hello. That's fine. I won because my opponent... 
Oh. He was like, oh shit, hey. <laughs> they couldn't cast Unmask on me. Hold on. So also, have... chat, don't go and see what Eric is playing. For respect on your side. Don't forget to check VOD for Soul. <laughs> oh, this happened last time. That was hilarious. Yeah, I, to I told him as well. Uh, yeah. Can we keep this? Can we, can, we oh, keep can we keep this? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The first yeah, show and tell, if he's on Delver, the first show and tell is not resolving. Yes. Oh, uh, that's fine. He might, he was playing the Omni show deck, though, for a bit. Well, in that case, we're just going to get bloody show and tell ourselves. Let's hope he hasn't seen your... Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know that... I don't know that... But... The decks I've seen him play, I don't know that I've seen him play a deck that is a good matchup for us. Like Reanimator, very bad. Very bad. Delva, not great. He's on Omni Show, that's probably not great. He's on the Mirror, then it's basically probably 50 what we're saying is, I mean, I love, yeah, guys. I want to hear Eric Landon is great. I really would like to see a Eric Landon is amazing, shorter than I remembered. But uh, uh, you can't say that on in public. Oh, you can't shit. say that to your stream. He's gonna come back and watch rewatch yeah. the video. No, I love Eric. You, much you, love. You're gonna have sat there calling him short. Eric, much love. Saha. I love Eric. I Eric was very supportive of my of supportive of what I was doing. Oh, hello. Well, this is good. That's a grizzle brand. Do we keep both? Do we do we keep both of these? Uh, just the grizzle brand, I think. Matthew. Yeah, yeah. just the grizzle brand's fine. Um. Like the idea is, is that we get to show into our next Danny Grizzle run. Yeah. We don't really want to be showing into. It. Uh, depends what they're playing. To be honest, we will never know until it's too late. All right, let's see what Eric's doing. Ripperoni, Osseroni. Oh, Eric, don't do this. Eric, don't, don't do, do this, do... Eric. Eric. Eric, please. Is Eric. this Malalus? No, oh, Eric, no. don't do this. Malalus Dredge. Oh. He's playing Malalus Dredge. Oh my. God. This is okay. We just. Okay. I'm just gonna do my thing. Just do my. Yep. This is based. Okay, M Matthew, is this the closest to modern I'm gonna get right now? Where basically everyone, people just do their own thing. I feel yeah, like. Kind of, yeah. Do I play the other Lotus? Do I play I the other Lotus Battle? Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Just, just get it on I, board. I beat Man of the Stretch last night at Tuesday Night Legacy by double Kaya's guiling them. Ooh. I know, it was absolute spice. <laughs> It was main board as well, which was the glorious thing. I don't really know what they can put in. You psycho. Uh, they just dredge in response. Like they just go off in response, don't they? Shambles. Yep. Oh, okay, they haven't hit much. They've only hit Nickarees. Gak? Yikes. Gak yeah, they play too Gak now, don't they? Yeah. Why is everyone playing really Manless Dredge? Why are you playing Manless Dredge, dear? Oh, wow. Oh, we put a Gak in. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Concede. No, um. Draw the first seven. Just Let's draw, draw the first seven. seven. Let's draw the first seven. We're gonna be a little bit careful of that Lolith giant in their graveyard. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Um. We just pass. Uh, yeah, we just pass, discard. A uh, Tarn and a Shant. Yeah. yeah, probably one of the one of the four show and tells we've seen. So many show and tells. Probably need the fourth one. Well, I mean, that's. I think I disagree with you there. I think we do need all four. I think that you see that ancient tomb. We're just not going to cast, are we? That's no, it. Because you can't really cast lands. <laughs> well, I think that's just a matter of perspective. <laughs> so, show and tell uh, and scalding yeah. tarn. Tarn, yeah. Uh, not the so, ancient yeah. tomb. Not the ancient yeah, tomb. Yeah, we might need the ancient tomb. Icarid, we're being attacked for 11. Well, we can block the Icarid. Yeah, the Icarid attack's probably not the best one. The Gak, on the other hand, being gacked. We've just really got to hope they don't go off. Knock on me, oh, bar. Oh, Knock on me, bar. They've got an amalgam in there as well, and a bridge. Yes. Did we lose this? Is this is this a bad matchup? I don't know. Maybe. We're being cabal, uh, right? Yeah. Sure. What do they care uh, about? Yeah. I think Nothing. They would... We would force the second one, I think. Force. Are we forcing this one? Yeah. Force the second one. Well, what's the what's he likely gonna name? The He's not gonna name Show and Tell. He'll name. No, but if he names Force, we can't force the second one. Fine. If he names Force, then. 
Let's see what, let's see what Eric says. I mean, I'm pretty sure he won't name. I don't think he enough. named Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack, yeah. He wouldn't. He wouldn't name Chantel because he's already seen two. Oh. He's assuming that the reason we discarded one of our Sneak Attacks. Okay. Now do we force yeah. a will? Yeah, I think, I think so, we yeah. have to. Just doing Pitching. show and tell. Probably the show and tell. I'm just messaging saying you joined the dark side. <laughs> Surely post board this match is fine. No, we don't have much graveyard hate, do we? We've we have got two surgicals and a tormod crypt. Two, two surgicals and a tormod crypt, yeah. So yeah. much. Are Jesus, they? cracking in for eight with the gack. Are we at, are we blocking? No. 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 It we have a seven seven. seven. It, yeah, it's an eight eight. <laughs> Gak's a bit fucked if anyone knew, guys. <laughs> Gak is great. I mean, he's just misunderstood. Kind of dead, he's just a bit misunderstood. He's misunder what? He's just a bit misunderstood. I, I think you and I have very different perceptions of what classes is understood and miss. I mean, he's... This he's... has been some unfortunate draws. It's going to be another gag. Oh, he's really doing it. Why did he want two gags? He has to sack one. He makes well, a zombie. He, he gets a zombie. Oh, no. Maybe not. Probably doesn't want to get rid of everything in his bin. Yeah. Well, the bridge is the only thing. The bridge and Nicker are the only thing he cares about, right? Yeah, but he doesn't have enough. I mean, Lolith Giant's part, part of his combo. Oh, he's got an amalgam here, yeah, you're right. Also, he, he could only keep one card. Alright. Oi vey. Are we attacking? No, we're gonna do stuff first. I think we should brainstorm. Yeah, we brainstorm and we hit a sneak attack. No, right, we hit Emrakul, though, which is pretty sweet. Alright, I guess we have to find the omniscience. Well. Do we? I don't know. If we just no. put in so if, you, if we just show and tell in the Emrakul, we swing for seven. Well, no, we don't even need to swing for seven, do we? We can just hold it back. Probably have to keep it back on blocks. Yeah, so we're just going to try and show and tell in Emrakul at this point. Okay, I so... Guess. So, Tomb and Delta, I think. So, put the Delta back and... No, uh, Tomb below Delta. Tomb, yeah. then Delta. And then, and then just they Hulk, Hulk and Do it again. Hope they don't put a Lolith Giant into play. And hope to God we don't. Do they play more? Do they pay more? No, more? I think they, I'm pretty sure they only run, but they might run one of the other pieces. Like they're running a Shambling Shell main board, which I think is normally a sideboard tech card. Let's see what he so does. They might be running another one of their. Let's might be running like Iona or something. Shamble, 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 shamble. Uh, so we just. We're okay. Yes. I don't know what Shambling Shell does. I mean, uh, suck it, put a one more counter on target creature, it's got treasure three. Alright. It's pretty. It's a pretty cool card, actually. It is very cool. What is it, a three one? Yeah, it's a three one. Yeah. It's called Dredge so three. As long as we don't block it with Grizzlebrand. Yeah. Should be okay. Well, if, if they dredge a uh, Dredge Return, then we lose. Oh, yeah, for sure. That actually, there was a thing. You know, with you know, with Kenneth just saying he wants to unban KCO. There was a thing on Twitter saying, if you won a tournament and could unban one card, what would it be? So, what? Really, you bring back Birthing Pod? I mean, I really enjoyed Birthing Pod as a actually. Wait, no, Shapeless Lupin. Okay, I would. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I. So I. So Daniel said Dread Return in Modern because he's an oh no because he's Fuck a literal no. animal. Ugh. Dredge is already, like, even after the ban of Faith is losing, it's still a vague black. No, I've been on that side for a while. <laughs> That's what Matt Derrick just is. Landon knowing what he wants. Yeah. He, he, he's, he loves it. Oh, okay, that's fine. Are we just dead? Yeah. No. Uh, no. Why is he done temporary zone? What's his temporary zone for? It was dredging. Oh, dredging, dredging. Dredging, dredging, dredging. Dredging, dredging. See, actually, I told my husband to play this Lock. deck. Lock. He's not even Eight. a home. But if my husband was here, I'd tell him to play this deck. We team down, run, hashtag right? team down, everyone. Team down in the chat. I was looking through all the MTG Goldfish decks that ran uh, Emrakul to see like what fun stuff there is. And I was looking at this list and I was like, oh, this is, yeah, this is running like Rectors. This is a really cool list. And then I realized it's mine from GP Bologna. <laughs> 
And you would have thought I'd have recognised my own list, and it's a bit embarrassing. That's quite funny. Oh. What's Eric doing? The thing is, Eric's on streets. He's, well, he's, he's trying to work. Out, he's trying. No, he's probably trying to work out the swing, isn't he? Well, if he attacks, we block a Hogak and one of the probably the amalgam, and we yeah. take and yeah. we get a one. Yeah. And one is not and then none. We went on the, then we went on the right back. Galado two five five. Thanks for the follow, the friend. Whoop whoop. He's had pretty mediocre dredges. Yeah. But guys, can we just establish that Eric Glenn doesn't have a land? And this is how it's done. This is how it is done. This is how we do it. We're not being cheaty enough here, I don't think. This is how we Our do it. Our opponent is doing the true cheaty things, and we're only doing the half-assed cheaty things. I know. Ah, but we have spaghetti. We we do. We he do has. He's good. he's got he's got dirt. He's got dirt. We got spaghetti. I mean, not a good combination. No, <laughs> no. All right, Eric, you're doing it for half a strike. Yeah, Masters for blockers. Us. All right. All right. Block. Emrakul 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 in front of Gag. That in front of. Uh, uh, three, if six. they run Contagion, then we lose. Okay. Eh. But they shouldn't run that many balls, from what I remember. I'd... Also, that would be a six slow roll. That would be a six. No, slow roll. and Eric knows me now, so I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust him to do that. But I would. I would hundred percent expect Eric to slow roll you out of pure banter. Out of classical banter. Oof. So... Oh, we're gonna so can cast Gak again. Yep. That's fine. That's but we're not okay relevant. That. Yeah. That is not relevant. Oh. Alright, nice. Nice games. Nice games. Alright. Gonna cast the Gak again. Yeah. Hold on. He probably was expecting us to misplay. No, he's we can see he conceded. Um guys, yeah. um we have three minutes. I need to wee quickly. Uh, talk about what sideboard you're doing, and then I will come back. I think we want the ones that interact with his graveyard. Yes. I see. No, I'm just not seeing it. I think even Blood Moon. If we're not interacting can, with I his land base, the then he can, do, he can do what he wants with his land base. And I just, I'm just not down for that. I can see the Red Blast, but not the not the Pyroblast. Yeah, I also... Um, well, I don't know why we're not playing uh, Fluster Storm. Yeah. Do we take out Dazes? Probably. I mean, is days better than better or worse than force? Force is better. Okay. <laughs> Why will it ever matter? I guess we can force like a dread return. Yeah, we can also days a dread return. True. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh. Um. So we definitely bring in Tormod's Crypt and the two Surgicals. Yes. The cards that we want to take out are pretty much... <laughs> I was about to say that we want to merge. <laughs> so, uh, Echoing Truth... They have, they have any forests, no. Okay, so what am I taking out? <laughs> um, Probably Dazes is what we're thinking. Yeah. Get yeah, to see. I think Dazes. Yeah, so that's it. No Ellie's, no nothing. Why like we that. bought the Echoing Truth then? For Hogag. Yeah. Nah, we should have a days instead. We should have a days instead. Like, because we care more about Dread Return than Hogak, as we thought. Okay. Yeah. So, days? Also, maybe we get the days of Hogak. Oh, so uh, yeah, days So, two Hogak. days or one days? Just the would... one. Just the one. Yeah. Well, Just like, one. I don't think we care about it enough. Okay. One Karameda! I showed, showed in that game. As I showed in that game, Dead Boy does not beat Spaghetti Boy. That's. Hmm. This one's not very good. This, no. this goes in the There's seat. no turn one or turn two combo. I'm not feeling Remember it. that we are also going to be on the play. Wait, he chose to play first. What? That doesn't sound right. That does not sound right. He oh, lost. no! Maybe he's got the transformative sideboard. We, we mulligan this. We're mulligan this, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, uh, this. Yeah. yeah, this is good. This is how I can keep. Ditch your land, I guess. Ditch your uh, island. island, I guess. Thank you, line. Tim Jones. Far it is a it is an awesome deck. Eric, what are you doing? Eric, don't don't do this to yourself. I can't do anything. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, that's not the play. Uh, do we ponder? ponder. Yeah. Ponder. If you look at more. Ponder sees three cards. There's a s oh, okay. There's oh uh, 
Redraw the surgical, keep the omniscience on top? Yeah, I think so. so. And the next time we just cast the show and then the omniscience. So, yeah. Petal, Sergi. Petal, then Omno. Um, no, 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 other way around, other way around. Then Omno, um, then Sergi. Then Sergi. There we go. I love it when a plan comes together. Eric, don't do this yourself. Eric, I don't, don't know why he drew. Uh, sorry, I don't know why he played. There must be a reason. No, no, but if he goes to discard, are we supposed to just surgical his dredger? Probably. If he discard, he, he might discard a Phantasmagor. Um, well, for a start, we just show and tell, and then we prevent. And if we don't win, then then maybe we send surgical. Okay. Like, so, yeah. Ancient I agree tomb? With this. Ancient tomb, show and tell. But you can't cast omniscience, you have to cast show and tell. I cast omniscience, I've carpet of flowers. <laughs> against miracles. It won't be the game, it was hilarious. <laughs> Did they not have a 10 in their deck? No, they didn't, no, no. It was uh, relatively nice. Let's see this Gak. Oh no, the, that Gak's normally taken out. Or at least it was against me yesterday. Do they play Grave Troll? That would be a great one to put in. <laughs> yeah, it would be. We'd be stumped there. Our surgical would do nothing. Right, all we got to do is... Oh, do we surgical our own poppers? Golgari Fug. Right, sure, we preordain. So, because if we preordain into a ponder, it's probably reasonable. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Can yeah, we look at the two and then surgical to draw so we, the card? So we're casting preordain? Yeah, yeah, we're hitting Emrakul. or Grizzle Brand. Put the pedal to the bottom. Draw pedal the Grizzle the Brand. Bottom. Yeah, cast the Grizzle Brand. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> yeah. I love it! Draw. Oh, draw seven. Draw. Draw. Draw a billion cards. I cast Emrakul, cast the Emrakul. <laughs> This is peak magic. <laughs> this is what Mark I'm just going to put, I'm sorry, darling. I'm going to put, I'm sorry. Oh, Eric. Oh, okay. Okay. We went 3-2. Okay, we went 3-2. I'll take 3-2.